I run a laboratory which studies stem cell biology and in particular is aimed at improved transplant therapies for treating kids with uh, genetic diseases of the blood. I get an enormous number of inquiries, emails, phone calls from patients with really devastating conditions, uh, spinal cord injury, cerebral palsy, Alzheimer's, diabetes, and, and more. And there's been an enormous amount of excitement that stem cells may offer hope for those patients. But it's very important to realize that those opportunities are in the future. Today, there are no established and proven stem cell treatments that work for things like spinal cord injury or Alzheimer's. The only thing that works today that we can be confident of is bone marrow transplantation. What I hear a lot about are families who inquire with the ISSCR about the various clinics that are offering very, very bold and potentially exciting new treatments. Uh, these clinics often are in locations like China or Russia or the Caribbean or Central America, places that operate outside of the careful regulatory environment of the FDA or, or the EMEA in Europe. There has to be some independent judgment that the treatment is in fact safe and effective. This is an important protection uh, for the patient. I struggle every day with the fact that we cannot cure all diseases. And I get appeals from very, very desperate families that they will do anything. They will go to any length. They'll pay any price. The concern is that uh, there are risks. There are risks from unproven treatments. Uh, there's certainly financial risks. What I can say is that there's tremendous excitement around stem cells. Stem cells offer hope, but we can't take shortcuts to get there. And there is a process. There's a process that we are diligently attempting to follow, and that one day we do indeed hope to deliver real, real treatments. But the risk of, of of subjecting your loved one to an unproven treatment at this time is very, very high. Unfortunately, with all of the hype around stem cells today, there's a lot of misrepresentation and there's this urgency to commercialize. And unfortunately, that's fertile ground for exploitation.